If you're building a website for a client or for your own company, time is money and Webflow can definitely help you save some time. However, there are some ways to save even more time by simply using some libraries and some third-party softwares which enable you to create websites in Webflow in a much faster and efficient way. Now, my name is Perluigi and I've been a UI UX designer for over the past decade and after creating several websites in Webflow for large and small companies, I tried so many different options and softwares and in this video I want to share with you some of the top ones which I discovered and that I'm sure that are going to help you save a lot of time if used correctly. And just before we get started, I want to remind you that I recently launched a free course on how to get started in UI UX design. So if you're interested in joining this field, feel free to check it out. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the very first resource which I highly recommend you to check out is Flowbase. Now this has personally been a game changer for me and uh, for my clients, of course, because it basically enables you to find all sorts of different components and assets which are already pre-built in Webflow and they look stunning. So let me show you exactly how this works. Once you go on the component library, you can see that here you're going to be able to filter by all sorts of different uh, components. So let's say, for example, that uh, you're looking for a feature section simply have to click here, you're going to see all of these components. And the reason why I personally believe this is better than um, Webflow templates uh, for the very most part is that it gives you access to so many different variations. So it's almost like a UI kit, but uh, it's uh, already built with a design style which you can easily and quickly adapt uh, to your specific needs. So let's, uh, for example, select uh, this one. And you can see that uh, you simply have to click on the preview in order to see a live preview of this. And uh, the way it works is uh, once you select this element, uh, you simply have to click on copy. Uh, here, I'm not on uh, my, uh, I haven't logged in, but basically you're going to have a copy button. You simply copy it uh, inside of your Webflow project and you're pretty much good to go. So this is the very first resource which I highly recommend you check out and the very next one is something which arrived recently and that is the Reloom library of components. Now similarly to what we have with Flowbase you're going to have all sorts of different sections that you can work with and uh, I think this is a great uh, alternative and uh, I personally am using both of these uh, since uh, the Relume library feels more like uh, a wireframe than an actual UI kit. And I really like this because uh, it has uh, so much uh, variations and it's really good to structure things uh, in uh, pretty much no time. So, so again, you can uh, check out uh, the feature section. You say, okay, I really like this. And you can simply copy and paste this directly into your Webflow project after you copy the, the main file. And uh, one of the great features about this is that uh, since there are so many variations, you also have the filters on the very left section. So say that you're looking for a feature section with uh, um, a video. So I'm going to search for video live box and a button. And uh, here I can filter between uh, all the, of the variations with uh, that specific search criteria. So really helpful. And uh, they have uh, so many different components for even things like, you know, footers, uh, nav bars, uh, all those elements that uh, you would need uh, often. And they're already responsive, of course. Now, the very next resource uh, which uh, I recommend you check out is JetBoost. And this is really cool for creating uh, a real-time search, dynamic filtering, uh, and uh, much more with uh, Webflow. So you can create things like this and a list uh, which is connected uh, to a CMS. And uh, you can basically filter for different options. So this is another resource uh, which I highly recommend you check out. They have all sorts of different uh, um, integrations, but essentially you can have stuff like this, uh, which Previously, it was really hard to create. Uh, there is also another alternative. Can we remember the name, uh, which is uh, free? 
However, um, it takes uh, some coding uh, uh, knowledge and uh, it takes uh, more uh, definitely to kind of like um, have implemented it in a Webflow. So just something to keep in mind. Now, another resource uh, which uh, is really useful is, uh, Opt is Optly. And uh, this, uh, as the title says, optimize your Webflow for images automatically. So you you know that uh, on Webflow images are already um, uh, automatically optimized, but this brings it uh, to the next level. So it's a really nice solution to essentially improve uh, the page load speed, which as you know, it's a very important uh, uh, factor for Google. Uh, Google hates uh, websites which uh, load, uh, that takes a long time to load. And especially if uh, you're dealing with competitors which uh, have uh, um, page speeds uh, which uh, are um, shorter and lower, you're going to be at a disadvantage if uh, you don't uh, uh, keep up with them. So just something to keep in mind, another great resource. And uh, now let's move on uh, to these uh, uh, other websites which I recently discovered, which is Wakelot. And uh, this is really cool because it basically enables you to translate uh, your Webflow site in uh, different languages. So really cool solution to just create a multilingual site uh, in a very fast and efficient way. Really isn't much to it. Uh, you just have to start and uh, basically follow the process. And uh, I want to leave uh, this list uh, with uh, those of you who are interested in uh, creating e-commerce, the shops with Webflow, uh, Monto is uh, not a tool that I personally used, but that I heard uh, uh, speak really uh, highly about. And it's basically, it adds uh, all sorts of uh, different functionalities uh, to, what, to Webflow shops. So for example, abandoned cart recovery, uh, simplified subscriptions, uh, affiliate, multi-currency, and uh, CRM, and they're having uh, uh, more that is coming up soon. So these are some of the things which uh, you would uh, usually always need uh, whenever you're dealing with an e-commerce site. So if you're interested in bringing your Webflow e-commerce to the next level, check out monto.io.